welcome. I like you came dancing out. It made me feel like I'm Ellen for a I'm minute. I'm Latin. There. Yeah. Oh, you are Latin. That's right. <laughs> you are. Hi, guys. Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mexican. I am, Mexicana. What, what part of Mexico are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Ah. Born and raised. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Very nice. And you moved, are you living here now or where? What, yeah. yeah I've been are. living here for seven years now and uh, I moved here actually to work. So it's been fun. I've, I've enjoyed, I miss my tacos, but I'm loving my hot dog. So it's good. You know, <laughs> We do have a taco place or two here in Los Angeles now. I don't know if you got the word. But... Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. heard about it. Now, you were on telenovelas, more than one telenovela. Which yes. one? I know them all. Which one were all you on? All of them, yes. I'm sure. <laughs> you understood all of them. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. you can't always kind of understand what's going on, even though, even if you don't speak Spanish, because yeah. they are so dramatic and oftentimes over the top. Yeah, the music determines how you're feeling, basically. Just go dun dun. Dun, 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 and then you know the evil twin's gonna kill you or something like that, mm -hmm. usually. You have evil twins. Yeah, yours you have as well. a lot of that. You have, well, I had a bodyguard that I fell in love with, and my mom had a bodyguard that I fell in love with, and then I fell in love with another one. It was just consistently just, you gotta maintain the, the excitement, but it is really dramatic, which is what makes it really fun. You know, we need that drama in our life. And it's nice to have drama that is an actual drama. Right. In Mexico, the telenovelas are like kind of short, like here in the United States, they're like some of them have been on for 40 years or something. Yeah. But they just kind of like, they do it for a little while and then they start a new one, right? Yeah, because basically that's sort of like, it has life as a series, but it still has those crazy loops of stories. Like you will definitely start with one storyline and then someone gets killed and then that person comes to life again. And then when they're over the actress too, there's this a very famous soap opera where they were over the actress and so they burnt her face. She burnt oh my God. and then she got reconstructed and she was another actress. Really? It was amazing, amazing. Wow, that's, that's like a message to, to everyone to behave. Don't do that at home. Wow. Or you'll be switched for someone else. That's pretty crazy. What are the big biggest differences between a production in Mexico and a production here in the United States? Well, they're very different, but for example, like when I started working in America, I started in a show in Austin, Texas, and so I got there, it was my first day. I was really nervous because it was the first time I was doing something in English, and one of the actors was like, oh, you wanna come with me to Crafty? I was like, I don't know what that is, but sure, let's go. And I wouldn't wanna say that I didn't know what it was, Right. Just because I wanted to be cool. Well, a lot First of people day. might not know what it is, but it's it's a, a table of food, the craft service yeah, table. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I go to Crafty, and so he starts picking up food, and so I'm like, wow, there's a lot of food in here. And granted, in Austin, Texas, if you've been there, there's a lot of truck, like food trucks. Yeah. So I grab my stuff, and then I looked at them, and they're like, I go, how much do I owe you? And everyone's like, what do you mean? And I go, do I have a tab? And they're like. It's for free, Asa. Yeah, right. I was like, oh my God, let me take it all. I loved it. I mean, that's sort of like, we didn't get that in Mexico, but it's fun. They're very different. And that's I love the great them. thing about television and, and movies and acting is you're really, especially when you're an actor, you can't eat because you have to stay thin. So they give you as much free food. It's a, like a special <laughs> brand of hell that they've developed exclusively for actors. Your mom is in the audience tonight. She is here. Does Hola, she go, mama. Does she come with you? She's here. Oh, hi, Mom. How are you? With my best friend, who is the biggest Jimmy fan ever. Oh, that's nice. And you, you are. You, do they live here with you now, or are they? No. No. Sadly, my mom. Uh, well, good for her because she's still in Mexico and she loves it there. But I miss her a lot. But she comes with me sometimes to sets. I got gotcha. you. And. Um, this, we just finished shooting Hobbs and Shaw in London, and so she came with me, and uh, she is so sweet, and it's very endearing, but she will tell very embarrassing stories of me to, like, my co-stars. Oh, tell one. And, oh, sure. <laughs> she loves it, and it's, they what, love it. What story has she told? And I know that this is you embarrassing yourself, but what has she told <laughs> your co-stars? Well, when we were shooting, for example, Baby Driver, mm -hmm. we were always, like, uh, Jamie Foxx and mm -hmm. John, John Hamm. Hamm. And John Hamm and I were a couple in the movie. So 
I wanted to feel like tough and badass. And you know, my mom was like, oh, you should have seen her when she was a little baby. I shaved her head so her hair would grow, and it'd grow like spikes, and it took her forever to be you potty trained. You shaved the baby's head? And I was, yeah, that's a Mexican thing. Is it really? Yeah, so if you shave their heads, what? well, this is what they, we believe. Uh -huh. If you shave their heads, their hair will grow better. I mean, it looks like it's done very well for Well, you. yeah, I mean, it has, it is nice. It does grow thicker. Guillermo, did anyone shave your head? Because your hair is like uh, like uh, the teeth of a comb. Yeah, once. My grandma did it, yeah. Your grandma shaved your head? Once, when I was little, yeah. And it came back nice and bushy and strong. Yes. The... Yeah, Law well, look, <laughs> he's not speaking himself. Now, are you an American citizen? Is this something that you want to be? Well, right now, I'm a resident. Mm -hmm. um, I have a green card. Well, okay. I used to have a green card. What happened to your green card? Did Trump take it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's I have a feeling. To. I have a feeling a half hour chat, chatting with you and he will turn and the whole wall will Didn't come crumbling down. Didn't he say down. if they're pretty, they can stay? Uh, I remember he said that. He didn't say it. He thought it. <laughs> um, no, well, I used to. He's not taking it yet, but I went skydiving. Uh, don't judge me for this. But I uh, lost my wallet. I lose my everything all the time. And so I lost my wallet, so they need an ID to sort of know who the hell's jumping out of the plane. Right. And so I gave it to them and I forgot because I was so nervous and I put it in my back pocket and I went skydiving. And <laughs> so oh. halfway through, I just was like, oh, oh God. No. And then I just, I guess I dropped it into earth and now someone wow. out there is Aza Gonzalez. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing you landed on this side of the border. You may never Thank have gotten the back Lord. in. So this movie is called Welcome to Marwin. It's based on a, a true story. Steve Carell is your co-star in the movie. Were you familiar with Steve and his work on television and movies and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I grew up watching a lot of his movies, and he's just such a... It's so cool because he's such a good comedian, but he does a complete different thing on this film, and I think that people are going to enjoy it so much. He plays a man who dresses as a woman, and it's based on a true story. Yeah, he, he, he's a character, that, well, it's Mark Hogenkamp, which uh, shares his story with the world, just to inspire everyone, obviously, because he's gone through a whole lot of, of moments in his life, and he had a really terrible thing happen to him. Try not to spoil the movie for you guys, but he no. went through an act of, of hate for being different, and mm -hmm. Steve, embodies Mark and he wears shoes, heels, girls shoes in mm -hmm. this movie and what I will say is I never thought Steve Carell could dance in heels better than I did. Oh and really? I was I was very impressed with Steve. He was incredible. Oh wow, this is a talent that I wonder if he he even knew he, can, he had. He knew everything. Oh, wow, incredible. It's yeah. great to meet you. Great to have you here. Thank movie's you. called Welcome to Marwen. It opens in theaters Friday. Asa Gonzalez everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.